Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Thank you so much for watching today. Today we're going to look at balancing scales and algebraic equations. Now usually when you think of a balancing scale, you, you could think of a lot of different metaphors, but basically we, we have this scale. And the scale measures two different quantities. Now when we have them balanced, to make this scale balanced, what we're saying is that this quantity here, whatever it is, is equal to this quantity here. So we could actually put an equal sign. Because when they're balanced, whatever the values are, this is equal to this. Now this is used to help sixth graders and fifth graders begin to understand algebraic equations. Because we're using this very concrete scale, and we're taking some, a very concrete example, like three circles, and let's say uh, six, six squares, or blocks, and we're saying, look, if you have three circles, and three circles and six blocks, how many circles equal a block? Or how many blocks equal a circle? Well, the student, you know, the student's able to manipulate these shapes. Maybe they're going to take away a couple of circles, take away a bunch of blocks, and they're going to come up with the fact that one circle is equal to two blocks. And this is the foundation for algebraic work and, alge and working with algebraic equations. We're going to go through how to work with, in more detail, how to work with algebraic equations using balancing scales for one variable, two variables, and three variables. So stay tuned. Check out one of the, um, watch these videos. Let me know what you think. Check out one of the MTEL Math workshops that's coming up. Whether you're taking the general curriculum, the 47, the 53, the 09, it really doesn't matter. Because remember, for these exams, it's all coming down to one or two, maybe three points. That's how close some teachers are getting up from the difference from passing to not passing. So I want you to get those extra points. So check out the videos. If you need extra help, come to a workshop. Get the extra help you need on, those, on these math and towels, okay? Thanks everyone, thanks for watching. Take care, see you soon, bye-bye. Now level one, there's no such thing as level one, but I, I'm going to call one variable balancing scales level one. And what we're going to try and do is look at, you know, get up to level three, which is three variables. But right now we have this scale. And here we have this balancing scale. It has, a, looks like a mass here of, of eight something, let's say eight pounds. Eight pounds is equal, because weight is always a, a, good, uh, a good one to use. 8 pounds is equal to 4 blocks, or 4 squares. Now we want to find out how, many, uh, how much does each one of these squares uh, weigh. The first thing I want to do is practice, and what I want you to start doing is saying, well, this is a balancing scale. So what it means is that this quantity here is equal to this quantity here. So I could write an equation. Basically, an equation is going to express that two values on either side of the equation are equal. So if I were to write this, I would say 8 is equal to what? Now I want to turn this very relatively, you know, concrete thing. It's not that concrete because it's not three-dimensional, but, you know, I could see four squares. I want to turn it into something more abstract. So I'm going to turn it into 4B. Now, by doing this, what I've done is, and what you want your student to do, because usually you're going to show students in the fifth and sixth grade you know, you're going to use balancing scales to help introduce the ideas of algebraic equations. What you're having them do and what you're doing yourself right now is you're taking something relatively concrete and you're turning it into an abstract algebraic equation. In an algebraic equation, it's an equation where part of it is a variable, an unknown. Now with this algebraic equation, 8 equals 4b, I can now solve for the different parts. Let's say I wanted to find out what b, uh, how much b weighs. Well, in this example here, I could divide by 4, and I'll get that 1b or 1 block equals 2. Now, you could check that. You could put the 2 into your, uh, 2 into this diagram here. You could find out, yeah, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 does equal 8. A student working on this at home, they, they might, um, they might be experimenting, they might start with just one block and they find that eight pounds is, is too heavy. And they'll add another block, another block, and another block until finally they get four blocks equals eight and they can sort of work their way backwards to figure out how much each block must weigh. 
But again, this is level one, and we're just looking at um, you know how to solve for um, how do we take something concrete, turn it into equation, and solve for an unknown. Let's look at another one. Here are some more level ones. What I would do right now, if you're just looking at this for the first time, I would you know pause the video and maybe practice a few of these. Um, you know, they're not that hard. So, but I want you to get in the habit of writing the equation. Let's do this one right here. This one says 9 is equal to 3c. I could divide by, I'm using, I'm always going to be either multiplying, dividing, subtracting, or adding. So in this case, with, with very basic uh, equations, I'm going to be dividing. Divide there, and I get, you know, this circle is equal, once, uh, three circle, one circle is equal to three. And then I could double check my work. And this one too, you know, I could do the same thing. 12, 12 is equal to 2t. Well, I divide by the 2, divide by the 2, and I would get something like 6 is equal to t. Now, I know you, as a teacher, you're watching this and you're saying, Chris, this is really basic. I get it. I get it. Well, this is, I'm showing you this for all the teachers that are watching. I'm showing you this because this is where you want to begin with your students that don't get it that are completely frustrated with algebraic equations. You start with the basic, basic um, balancing scales and show students, give st show students model basic equations so that they can begin to get into algebraic equations and algebraic thinking. Remember, these, using the scales is a bridge, a bridge to taking something very concrete and turning it into something very complex. All right? In our next videos, we're going to look at some harder ones, so stay tuned.